or dealt your two cards, there would be no selection process. You'd have paid for them, so you might as well play them, even if you'd been dealt, say, a jack and a three, which, by the way, is an absolutely terrible starting hand. This is why Texas Hold'em uses blinds, which is short for blind bets. Blinds are like antes, but unlike most home poker games, only two people have to pay these antes per hand. Also, while an ante is simply surrendered to the pot, a blind is considered to be an active bet. Essentially, the players paying the blinds are forced to bet on their two cards before they see them, hence the term blind. As for the rest of the players at the table, they get to see their two cards for free, and then they decide if they'd like to pay to play them or not. The blinds do not have this luxury. How do you determine which two players have to pay the blinds before the cards are dealt? I'm glad you asked. To answer that question, I have to introduce one more important element to this section, the dealer button. In a casino, the dealer button represents who would be dealing the cards for that hand. Players aren't allowed to actually shuffle and deal cards in a casino, so they use a dealer button to illustrate who would be shuffling and dealing them. In a home game where players just pass the deck around and shuffle and deal themselves, a dealer button is obviously unnecessary. As in most card games, everything in poker happens clockwise.